Two out of three water pipelines from Israel are now operational. However, they're only operating between 63 to 83 percent capacity. This has prompted many Palestinians to gather around a UNICEF water truck to get clean drinking water at the Al Qurban camp in Deir al Balah. Displayed, Palest uh, displaced Palestinians in the camp fill up jerry cans and other containers which they would bring to their tents. Meanwhile, Israeli bombardments since October last year have destroyed or damaged about two thirds of water and sanitation facilities in the Gaza Strip. Additionally, the United Nations Development Program, or UNDP, is working with a WASH cluster to form a solid waste management task force. Inadequate sanitation infrastructure and facilities have also caused groundwater to become contaminated and threaten public health. I'm now in front of UNICEF's desalination plant. This plant produces clean water uh, for all these people and beyond. This plant before the war has been producing over 20,000 cubic meters uh, of clean water. It was reduced to only 2,500 cubic meters after the war. Um, it's a good thing that it's still working, but it's just working uh, with a fraction of its capacity. As you can see, people queue to get their uh, water.